Hey guys, it's Jaylon. Welcome or welcome back. I'm here today to share with you my update for This Is Fantasy. This is a Fantastic Ladies Club project and it was created by Allie or Wonder in Allie Land here on YouTube. I will leave all the information about this project down in the description box. I think I have the same look except for like a different lip in three videos. I'm trying to like film a bunch because I'm behind. <laughs> Sorry. So I filmed this last month, forgetting that this was a, an every month, every other month project. Hmm. Anyway, I do have several things that I can roll out, which is very exciting. I did this project a little bit differently than I think most probably did. I kind of followed the way Jessica and Danny, maybe a couple of other people did the project, did this project this way, where they just rolled all the products in and prompts and products in at the very beginning. And that just made it easier for me because with the project starting in October, a new beginning of the year was coming where we roll in a bunch of new things. And I just wanted to roll everything in and know what I was going to be working on in preparation of January. Anyway, I have five items that I finished. One is like half of a prompt. <laughs> I'll share. We'll, get, we'll, we'll talk about whenever I get there. The first creature that I finished a product for was Elf. The description is humanoid supernatural being with magical powers and supernatural beauty, mischievous or malicious. And we were to bring in a product that makes you feel beautiful. So I brought in the Dior face glow face palette, Dior backstage glow face palette in rose gold. So here is the face palette. I wanted to use this 10 times, just use the palette 10 times. I had never used it before. And I really loved this. I pretty for the most part, I swirled my brush into all four shades pretty much every single time I used it. So I'll just show you what that looks like. I mean, that's pretty much how I used it every single time. It's stunning. Just beautiful. Beautiful. I'm so glad I brought it into the project. Anyway, loved it. So glad I used it and I have it. Okay, next uh, creature I finished a prompt for is Fairy. Mythical being from folklore and romance with human form and magical powers associated with plants and springtime. And you were to bring in a plant or nature themed product. So I brought in the Tree Hut Tahitian Vanilla Bean Shea Sugar Scrub. So I finished this up. I really... <laughs> I really did enjoy this. It smelled really nice. I wouldn't say that it's well, actually I take that back. That was the other one that I finished. This one really good. I can't remember if they still have this one. I think they do because, you know, they discontinued a bunch of scents. So I don't remember if they still have this one. But if they do, I would recommend this one. It smelled really good. By the way, if you didn't know, vanilla beans come from an orchid. Didn't know that. It smells delightful. Next creature I finished an item for is Leprechaun, a mischievous elf of Irish folklore, harmless if not provoked, plays pranks typically connected to treasures at the end of a rainbow, and you were to bring in a product you think you'll have good luck with. So I brought in this Tarte Mir Maracuja Miracle Mist, and I just have good luck finishing mists, facial sprays. And this was nice. It wasn't a holy grail. I liked the spray. It was kind of a fine mister, you know. It was nice. There's still a teeny tiny bit in here. It was good. I have another one. I enjoyed it. But I think MacFix Plus is still my favorite. So that's going to be the, the one that I repurchase. The next one is Phoenix, a mythical bird known for rising from its ashes, symbolizes renewal 
and rebirth and you were to bring in a product you repressed or depotted and I brought in this Benefit Hula bronzer that I depotted from one of the Chicathon palettes. I wanted to use this 50 times the last time I had updated you guys. I'd used it 28 and then since, I've, since then I've completed my 50 uses. This is a nice bronzer. You know, really nice bronzer. I have I have it in a like full size and then I, this is kind of a crummy swatch but you know you know what hula looks like and then of course I have it in this too so I wanted to get some use on this one love it not going anywhere the last one that I have completed is for witch or wizard a person who practices magic derived from supernatural occult or arcane sources and you were to bring in a magic themed product so I brought in this item here which is the star skin magic hour exfoliating foot mask socks so I finally used these I want to say probably three weeks ago maybe maybe it was a month ago and you know they just they like make your feet peel <sighs> compared these to baby foot I think is what they are baby feet baby foot I prefer the baby foot one to this it's more expensive I think these were six this this is a $16 product baby foot is like 20 normally but I like the socks on the baby foot I feel like they stay more secure these like they the it didn't stay secure at all like at all like they came apart and I ended up having to get my own tape to keep them taped to my foot and I feel like the baby foot got the more calloused portion of my foot peelied like got that stuff to peel off whereas this didn't but this was still actually pretty good I think if you don't have as callous to feet as I do then this might be a good option it actually did it did its thing it did what it was supposed to it was nice I was kind of surprised I was I was very skeptical that it was gonna work sorry star skin okay now the one that I finished like half of the like what I had set up for it so for the prompt werewolf a human with the ability to shapeshift into a wolf heightened senses shifts during a full moon silver bullets are a weakness and you were to bring in a celestial themed product I brought in I brought in a duo and it was the bath and body works aromatherapy stargazing meditation moisturizing body cream and shower gel so I have finished the body cream I haven't started the shower gel because I'm a dodo <laughs> and instead I started the aromatherapy vanilla and patchouli shower gel I don't know what I was thinking but I want to finish that first before I start this one this was light the scent on this was light I was actually surprised I mean it smells good but it's it's light it's very faint made with bergamot oil patchouli oil and vetiver oil very light I was surprised kind of bummed so we'll see how the shower gel is but anyway finish that so not finished with the prompt yet but I'm finished with this product so half of that prompt is done okay now moving on to the items I'm still working on there are a few things I'm not working on but most of the things I have rolled into the project so for centaur a creature that is half man and half horse you were to bring in a dual product so I have this tart tartiste like eyeliner duo and I had finished the pencil liner previously so that's already finished so now I have the liquid eyeliner on this end it's still kicking I'm still working on it I don't use this every day I've been working on some like pencil liners not liquid liners but pencil liners so this one you know I have I could probably start working on this 100% it's just they it takes more time in the morning for me to focus on using a liquid liner because with a pencil I can just really fast 
<laughs> and if it doesn't work, I can smudge it, you know, whereas a liquid, you have to be a little bit more precise and take more time to make sure you don't mess up. So I don't always use it, but it's still kicking. Once it starts drying out, I'll roll it out. But so far, it's, it's still going. The next prompt is Chimera, a fire-breathing female monster with lion's head, a goat's body, and a serpent's tail. So you're to bring in a Frankened product. I don't have a lot of Frankened product products. So I went ahead and brought in this Kevin Aquan little mini. This is the Neo Bronzer in the shade Capri. I use this as a blush. So here is the product. So yeah, it is right side up. And I I have I've used it, you know, with all like mixing all three shades together, but I have lately been focusing more so on the, this top section. So let me just show you both. So that's all three mix and that's just the top two. So yeah, you can kind of mix it however you see fit. So I wanted to use this 20 times so far. I've used it 12 the first time I updated I had used it twice so I've used it 10 times since the last update eight to go the next prompt is Cyclops a one-eyed giant and you were to bring in a single shadow so I brought in this Mac extra dimension eyeshadow in delicate drift so here is the shade this is part of their one of their holiday collections And I want to use this one 10 times. So far I've used it eight. So I have two more uses to go. It's really pretty. The next prompt is dragon, a large serpentine legendary creature depicted as winged, horned, four-legged, and capable of breeding fire and ice. And you order to bring in a large product, packaging, mount, etc. So I brought in the Ole Henriksen Sheer Transformation Cream. This is a large bottle of product. It's three fluid ounces. Of course, I want to finish this. So this is how this is looking right now. So I'm not close to finishing this. I'm probably a third of the way, maybe. Maybe. We'll see. I'm using it. It's not every single day, but pretty much every single day. I have one day cream I'm working on by Kate Somerville, and I've been using it here and there. So, but this is pretty much my everyday, almost everyday face cream, <laughs> moisturizer. Next prompt is giant. Oversized humanoids known for strength and aggression existed before the gods, a product you love before the beauty community made it big. So I want something that was like balmy because I like creamy balmy lip products and I brought in the L'Oreal Colorish Shine lip product in varnished rosewood I have since found out since I rolled this into the project these are discontinued oh, shame they have set, they replaced it with something different but this color is gone I bought a backup I am so sad my goal was to use a quarter of this. Now, I have met that goal. I have met that goal. I And I am actually wearing this today. I've used a quarter, but I mean, look at how much is left in here. I was like, okay, I just bought a backup. I have this much left. Maybe I should just finish it. <laughs> I mean, there is like nothing left in here. I can finish that. I love this stuff. Mm. So that's what I'm changing my goal to finish. Next prompt is gnome, dwarfish creatures who guard the earth's treasures underground and you were to bring in a gemstone or mineral themed product. I finally started working on this. This is the Rodeal Pink Diamond Cleansing Balm. And you can see I am down here, here. And this is nice. Now, I feel like 
the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm is not as stripping as this. I may have to do like a, not a side-by-side -side test, but like a day one, day two test or something like that because I kind of feel like this is a little bit stripping, but I do love the way it goes on. I love that it's in a tube. When I originally started using it, it was a little bit of effort to get it out of the tube. But now that I've started to use it, it's it takes a little bit of effort, but it's not too bad. I love that it's in a tube, that you don't have to go digging into a jar. It's nice. I just, I feel like it's a little bit stripping or not as hydrating or something. You know what I mean? It's nice. Next prompt is Hydra, a many headed serpent or monster. Heads grow back when cut off. Ew. A product that you keep panning and panning, but never finish. What else could that be besides blush? So I have a blush in my Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush Palette Color Wheel. And I'm working on the shade Ironic, which is this one. And I want to clear that imprint. So I'm not there yet, of course, but I'm working on it. So here's the shade. It's a really nice blush. I actually have really enjoyed mixing it with this shade. It kind of softens it up a little bit. So it's not so in your face. Anyway, been enjoying it. It'll probably be in here the entire length of the project, which is through October of, the, of this year. The next prompt is Kraken, Scandinavian sea monster of tremendous size and strength, haunts the seas and harasses ships. And you were to bring in a product that has lots of pigment. So I brought in this L'Oreal, which you can't see no more because it's all rubbed off. Uh, this is the Infallible Pro Matte Gloss and Forbidden Kiss. This is a really, this is a very interesting formula. I really do love this formula. My goal is to use this 20 times. So far I've used it nine. <laughs> so I have a little bit ways to go, but it's a really nice formula. I am enjoying it. 11, 11 uses to go. Pretty. Next prompt is Troll, an ugly creature depicted as either a giant or dwarf, dwells in rocks, mountains, or caves, known to be master builders. And you were to bring in a product with ugly packaging. So I brought in a product from The Ordinary. It's the 100% cold pressed virgin marula oil. And I want to finish this. I think this is really boring packaging. So as you can see, I am very close to, fin very close to finishing. I'm down to here. And I've mainly been using this on my arms to give them a little bit of hydration because I have KP on my arms. And that really is a result of like a lot of dryness. So I use this after I get out of the shower and I've used a an acid on my skin. This helps add some hydration back in. So yeah, I'm doing pretty well. I feel pretty good about this. I don't know, I'll probably have it done I'm thinking I'm, I may have this finished by the next update. I mean, that's two months from now, so maybe. Maybe. Okay, the next prompt is Unicorn, legendary creature described as a beast with a single, large, pointed, spiraling horn. Symbolizes purity, freedom, gentleness, virginity, innocence, divinity, and magic. Brings signs of good luck, happiness, and a positive omen. And you were to bring in a brand new untouched item. So I brought in the G Lancome Advanced Genifique Youth Activating Concentrate. So I had picked this up during one of Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty, I think. And I just pulled this in around the beginning of the year. So yeah, I am working on this pretty much. I use this pretty much every day. Yeah, that's where I am. Enjoying it. It's a really nice serum. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. <laughs> very, very nice serum. Next item is Vampire, a creature that subsi subsists by feeding. Subsides? Subsists? 
by feeding on the vital essence of living, believe to drink blood, be immortal, have heightened senses, hates silver, sunlight, garlic, holy war symbols, and wooden stakes. You were to bring in a bloody red product. So I brought in this Lancome Juicy Tubes and Mary Mary Mint tea mary mary minty it's also all rubbed off here now i think this has an air bubble in it i can't tell i can't get it out if there is one maybe there isn't but anyway i have started to use this but i you can barely tell my goal was to use half of this no a quarter a quarter of this and oh, i'm just there I have a ways to go. We talked about werewolf. I still have to use the shower gel from Bath and Body Works there. And the last prompt is zombie, a corpse that was supernaturally reanimated, walking dead, decaying, rotting skin, hu hungry for human flesh. And you are to bring in a product that is falling apart. Well, so, so in my last update, I had this product, which was the Lottie London blush and zane it was a hot mess it the product was broken the packaging was broken the product was crumbling all over the place because it like the clasp had pierced the blush it was a hot mess so i talked about how i was going to potentially if i had the time repress the blush into new packaging so i pulled this out this is the mac or this was, this was a MAC bronzer that I finally got rid of because it was, it, just, it had broken. The clasp was broken, but it was able to fix the clasp. And, but the, but the bronzer had come broken and I tried to repress it a couple times and it was just, it just kept, it kept shattering. So I was like, I'm done. I'm done with you. So I went ahead and pulled this compact out and I repressed the blush into here. So this is the repressed blush. Now, when I originally repressed it, it was like orange. The top layer here was orange. I don't know what that was all about. It was like the orange pigment in the blush seeped to the top or something. It was the strangest thing. So you can kind of see the shade, original shade underneath it. I'm using this like eyebrow brush to scrape. I don't know if after repressing it, if it's going to, I'm, I'm just trying to get some of that orange off because I don't, I can't, I can't wear an orange blush. I don't know why it looks or why it turned orange. It like oxidized. So I'm just going to scrape off this top layer but now it seems to be okay i still feel like it's not the same color but maybe maybe it is maybe it is anyway there it is and my goal is to use this 10 times so far i've used it five so i mean when i've used it it's i've liked it you know i've liked how it looks it still looks a little I mean, it ends up looking pink on the skin. It's just, it's, it'll probably end up going super fast now that I've repressed it. Yeah, see, it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. So anyway, that is going to be it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you are doing well and staying safe. Please hit that subscribe button and I'll see y'all next time. Bye. This is a project that is, no. Hmm. I'm struggling with words today. Really struggling. Mythical being from. Mm. And you were to bring in a Franken product. So I don't have too many Franken items, but I did bring in this little mini of a Kevin Aquan blush. They actually call it a Neo, Neo bronzer, but I'm using it as a brush.
I brought in the Rodeal Cleansing Balm. No. Okay, bye.